What is going on guys? Welcome back to Channel Critical Overlord here. Talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. We're also going to be talking about the Scream TV series and the original plans, a little bit of what they had in mind for Scream 3, not Scream 3, but Scream Season 3 and Scream Season 4 for the MTV network. Uh so with Scream 6, as you see here on your screen, there is a tweet and all, all the headlines talked about it. Scream 6 will be arriving in theaters next March 31st, 2023. This lines up perfectly with what we've been hearing. Recently, we heard from Courtney Cox stating that the movie itself should be shooting in June out in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. We also know that the working title for the movie is Blackmore. We can only assume that all of the surviving cast members will be participating in it. In fact, uh, Melissa Barrera's husband, shout out to UK for pointing this out, underneath a Instagram post, something on Instagram, Melissa Barrera's husband actually was showing support. So kind of indicating already, even though it hasn't been officially announced, that Melissa Barrera will be involved. Uh, Jenna Ortega will presumably be involved. And I I just have to say this. Jenna Ortega, I I just feel like that's... I feel like the move they're going to take here is making her the lead. I just feel like she's done such a good job lately with all of these movies she's been the lead of lately and how well received they've been. Um, the most recent one being X. So I think that they are going to shift the narrative over to focusing on Tara Carpenter and we'll get to see Jenna Ortega carry the bulk of the narrative, just like how we saw Melissa Barrera carry the bulk of Scream 5. It's Scream 6. Hopefully, we do get to see Jenna Ortega's younger character of Tara carry, pick up that mantle, carry the bulk of the narrative, focus on her and her group of friends with Chad and Mindy, uh, get to learn a little bit more about them, since I know a few of you did point this out, and I kind of agree as well. The friend group of Tara were kind of sideline in terms of when they were on screen they were great but you know they have a real opportunity here with scream 6 to really flesh those characters out a little bit more and develop them a little bit better and get you more invested in them than you already might have been despite the minimal screen time that i guess you could say they had in screen 5 even though every time they were on screen i was invested in them and it's just it, i guess that really is just going back to how they were portrayed in the performances that we got in the fifth movie so with scream 6 now coming out march 2023 i know a lot of you think that that's rushing it i still do not think this is rushing it if anything this again just lines up given that they ended shooting for scream 5 in 2020 they've had plenty of time to work on scream 6 in between the fifth movie wrapping and now what they're doing with the sixth movie and i do just want to remind everyone scream 5 was delayed Screen 5 was supposed to come out in 2021. So all throughout 2021, again, there's no doubt in my mind, they have been working or coming up with some type of outline for Scream 6. And I know there's that interview out there where they have stated or one of them has stated that the plan was not to spark a new set of films. They were just trying to do their own little thing. But you know what? They're in the industry. They know how it works. They're them, they themselves are fans of this of this franchise. So there's no doubt in my mind that while that might have been the plan, that might have been the intent going into what you wrote for Screen 5, you know, with the script now being turned into an actual movie, you would have had time to you know flesh out some further ideas and put them into put them into a reality by fleshing out a script completing said script and now we have a movie coming out next year and again this is like right along with what they did with scream 2 not exactly but right along in the same vein so i can't wait to see what they bring to the table there's not no doubt in my mind that we'll have some great characters we'll have some great performances once again a lot of returning stars hopefully like Hayden Pantier uh, again Jenna Ortega Nev Campbell and maybe some new stars like Jessica Roth Samara Weaving you know I've seen some people actually toss around the idea of Florence Pugh starring in the film as like a relative of Kirby which I think that actually now that I think about it sounds amazing and I know a lot of us were actually talking about Sydney Sweeney possibly being in the movie but that kind of seems like a, a thing that won't happen if anything if we get anyone from euphoria at this point i would i would take maude apatow i would take her uh the sister of sydney sweeney in that show so with this narrative that we get i'm certain that they are going to do something that's focused on terror this time around not to say that sam will be irrelevant but i just feel like this would be a very Terra centric narrative with Sam to kind of being there as her side piece now, same way Tara was kind of Sam's side piece, or they could share it. But with Tara basically taking up the bulk of being the focus this time around with her new group of friends. Now, 
I want to talk about our Lakewood gang. I've never talked about the Scream TV series before on this channel, I don't think. So recently, the showrunners for Scream season two, Michael Gans and Richard Register, they caught up with uh, Bloody Disgusting on a podcast that they have. I'll leave a link to the article. And they basically went into talking about the plans that they had in place for Scream season three and season four. So the wine scenes were apparently backing this, but MTV was not. And of course, we, we know that's why we ultimately got what we got in 2019 on VH1. So apparently the third season would have found Emma trying to escape her hometown and distance herself from the surviving members of the Lakewood Six, Emma, Audrey, Noah, and Brooke. So the infamy that the killings has brought the group has earned heroin inspired a desire to re reinvent herself and head off to college. So uh, the, the killings in Lakewood start up again, and then she ultimately goes back to town. Noah would have been seeing ghostly visions of Zoe. If you recall in season two, Zoe was a love interest of Noah. So they would have touched on that. They also go into, into details about Brooke possibly beginning to lose her mind after the aftermath of season two. Her and Audrey were going to begin an affair. So then her boyfriend Stavo would have gone spiraling. New characters would have been introduced. And they also went on talking about the idea of Karen, who was murdered at the end of that Halloween special, I believe. He was going to be revealed as, a, I think, alive, they said. And they also touched on Brandon James just ultimately being alive, which that's not shocking to me. Brandon James being alive was something that I was kind of thinking of the minute the show had started. I was like, this guy is going to be the Allison De Laurentiis <laughs> of this Scream TV series. And it looks like that's what we were going to get. But the thing I, that I saw a lot of people really becoming favorable towards, even though a lot of those ideas might sound, cr might, might sound crappy to you, was that in the end, you were going to find out that this was all just on the set of the Scream television series. It was literally going to be like a new nightmare type of thing that they were going to try to pull where they start killing all the characters and you're like, I can't believe they're killing everyone. And then you ultimately find out that this is just on the set of an elaborate television show that you've been watching the entire time what how that would have been received i don't know um i'm a little on the fence about that but let me know know what you guys think about that if you're a fan of the screen tv series down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video